Hello world, welcome to United Cuisines, your show for international recipes. If you've been following us for a while, you already know that we like Turkish food. Especially cigar bereks, which we made a few weeks earlier, we enjoyed so much that we want to try another burek type in this episode. Kol burek, an eye-catching spiral-shaped pastry filled with spinach and cheese. Delicious and crispy, best eaten by hand. So let's make some in this episode. We won't need many ingredients, some of which might only be available at your nearest Turkish supermarket though. We will need a bunch of spinach, more or less a pound of it, some Turkish white cheese or Greek feta as a substitute, an onion, some vegetable oil, same amount of clarified butter, and for some heat, Aleppo chili flakes. Last but not least, thin phyllo sheets, which will help us to get an ultra crisp burra crust. Let's start by roughly cutting our spinach, which we washed and cleaned up front, before we peel and chop our onion into small cubes. We gotta shortly saute those, so let's move over to the stove and place a pan over medium low heat. Sprinkle some olive oil in there and add the first batch of spinach which will wilt and considerably shrink in size very soon. In parallel get your saucepan out, add the oil and clarified butter in it and place it over low heat till the butter is fully melted. Don't forget the spinach in the meanwhile and using a kitchen tong, turn it upside down, let wilt, add another batch and repeat till all the spinach is in the pan. Cook for 3 minutes, mixing and turning multiple times. We don't want to overcook our spinach, however want to get rid of most of its water content in order for our burdock to turn out crisp and not mushy, hence we set it aside let cool and we'll squeeze the water out of it by hand later. In the meanwhile we will saute the onion for which we discard any leftovers from the pan, add some olive oil in it and cook the onion over medium heat for 3 to 5 minutes till translucent. The next step is rather risky and you could burn yourself if the spinach didn't cool down enough. How you want to do it is up to you but you gotta somehow squeeze the water out of the spinach and transfer the healthy greens back into the pan. Combine spinach and onion, season with salt and pepper to taste and mix in a teaspoon of Aleppo peppers. Don't worry, it won't make your burdock overly hot, just tickle your taste buds a bit. Transfer into a medium sized bowl and let's start assembling our spiral burdock. For which we grab our oven safe dish and grease it with a butter oil mix. We used a glass dish because it's the only round form we own, however we suggest you opt for a round metal pan in case you got one. It will help your burdock to get a crispier bottom crust. We are going to make two small spiral burdocks, 7 inch or 18 centimeters in diameter, one with spinach only and one with spinach and cheese. Let's grab one ultra thin dough sheet and paint it with our butter oil before we place a second one on top and grease it as well. The oil will help to cook and nicely brown our pastry. Our phyllo sheets were super thin so we used two of them for our burdock rolls. If you can find thicker phyllo sheets, one thick sheet should suffice. Grease your second sheet too, grab the spinach and spread along the long side of the rectangle like so. Be generous with the filling, these are not going to be cigar barracks, which we prepared in an early episode by the way. Spread the filling evenly, grab the ends of your sheets and start rolling from where the spinach is. Don't roll it too loose nor too tight. Place it along the rim of your round oven dish of choice and follow up with the next rolls till all the area is fully covered. If you don't have a round oven pan, you could also use a normal baking sheet. In that case, Start from the middle and spiral outward. Once you spiral the pastry all over the baking dish, put some more of the butter oil mix on top of it in order for your burdock to get a wonderful golden crust. Sprinkle with sesame and nigella seeds and bake at 180 degrees celsius on the lower third of your oven for around 45 minutes. In the meanwhile, let's crumble the white cheese into our spinach bowl, combine well and prepare the rolls for our second mini spiral burdock. By the way, we like this cheesy version better and suggest that you make one big spinach cheese burdock if you got a big enough oven pan. Create the rolls and grease them in order for them not to dry out while we wait for our oven dish to free up. On that note, please be informed that phyllo sheets dry out super quickly so don't let them sit outside of the packaging for too long. Let's have a look at our burdock in the oven which has been baking for 30 minutes now. Some of the oil leaked which is normal and helps with cooking the phyllo sheets. Once your burdock gets a nice golden color, ours did after 45 minutes in our conventional oven, it's ready to be taken out and set aside to cool down a bit before serving. Place the waiting spinach cheese rolls for your second burdock in your oven pan which is very hot by the way so don't burn yourself and bake it as well. And that's pretty much it. You just created two eye-catching super crisp spiral shaped pastries that are great as appetizers as well as a main dish. We prepared them with a delicious spinach cheese filling which seems to be very popular in Turkey and goes by cold burdock there. Our Greek friends seem to mainly make it with feta cheese and our Bosnian friends with minced beef, both of which we want to try in the future. And so should you. In the meanwhile however, let's enjoy our crispy cold burdock while it's still warm. Afiet Olson. Thank you my Greek and Turkish friends, very delicious. Thanks for watching and until next time with another international recipe here at United Cuisines.